I am really uncomfortable with the story of the crucifixion, with like analogies of the cross and metaphors and all that symbology. Because to me, it's hard to move past the idea of the cross as anything but a torturous death trap, a death thing, um, a symbol of sustained harm and insurmountable, painful loneliness. At least that was until I read what Jenny had given me. The commentary of the queer, uh, the queer Bible commentary uh, transposes the story of Christ, this, really every story in the Bible, but specifically this one was about the, the crucifixion, and it transposes that onto the story of the queer experience. It forces the reader to wonder whether the story of Christ can be seen through a lens of queerness, through a lens of drag even. She read a line to me as we sat and chatted. The secret is what makes people tremble. And people will tremble sensing the mystery of queer holiness. Ah, that struck me. The secret is what makes people tremble and people will tremble sensing the mystery of queer holiness. To me, drag is a powerful form of uncovering my own secret, shouting it on the mountaintops. Drag allows me to process the mystery of myself, the mystery of God, the mystery of love, and the mystery of pain. When I walk the streets in six inch heels and wear four pounds of hair, double stacked wigs, the power which lies within my mystery is released into the world. 